entiendo. Ay, frío. <risa> Está re frío. No, no, está muy frío. Y listo. Hello, my travelers, and welcome back to another vlog. Let's travel Colombia. Jonathan here, as always. And it's around 6.30 a.m. We are going now to a natural reserve. Today is a day that I can go outside. So I'm gonna take advantage of it um, with my good friend uh, that is taking me to this natural reserve. I'm gonna show you everything that you should know about this place because for me, it's also very new. Uh, I haven't been there before. So it's gonna be a learning experience for all of us. So welcome back and uh, Let's go to the natural reserve then. All right guys, and after a few minutes of walking, about 20 minutes, not really that high, we arrived to this place, which is pretty amazing. If you look behind me, all of those are eucalyptus uh, trees. I don't really know the word in English, but that looks like if you were in, I don't know, in Switzerland, in one of those four is really, really nice. But when you look to this side, and look right behind me, see that house. Typical house in the coffee region in Colombia, made out of wood and um, bamboo, sort of bamboo that only grows here in Colombia, which is called guadua, really thick and strong. And it's used to do everything here. It used to be like pipes and to build houses, roads, bridges, anything that you can think of, they use bamboo to do something like that. So that house, it's in the middle, you could say, of a Switzerland forest with all these tall trees. But right now we're, um, this is one of the places, one of the natural reserves that we have in Manizales. It's called Monte Leon. It's pretty big and it's part of a biological corridor that goes pretty much all across the city and it connects with Jarumos that we were last time but then it also connects with Rio Blanco which is a little bit farther that way. So this is one of the natural reserves that not many people know here in Colombia and especially in Manizales. I've been living here for many years and I didn't know about this natural reserve so it's a pretty cool thing to see beautiful place birds all over around the place which by the way tomorrow which is Saturday we have the big day and for those who don't know the big day is an international event where all of the uh, bird watching people go outside and register how many birds and what type of birds they sell uh, on their uh, local area so that's how they they know what is the country that has the largest variety of species of birds and Colombia has won that prize about two years, uh, two consecutive years. So it's pretty amazing. So while we are here, we're gonna try to see some birds. And we are with two very typical, uh, how do you say, characters of this area, which I'm gonna introduce in just a minute. They're the ones who are taking us all over this place. So how do you see that contrast? Beautiful house, beautiful forest in the background. Look who we found in the middle of the forest. Who are you guys? Hey, que vas a ver montañero. We have here eutanasia and Chuchito el siropero. Chuchito el siropero. For those who don't know, sirope is a typical drink in the coffee region. So welcome guys. Thank you very much for being here. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo están? Cuéntenos ustedes cómo les ha ido, cómo les parece esto. Hace cuánto más o menos están por aquí, por estos lados. ¿Cuánto llevan con el proyecto? Tía, cuente pues algo, tía. Acá, toda la vida. ¿Y cómo estamos? Estamos, lo más de... estamos pasados de bueno. De la vuelta, Chuchi, verá. Estamos bien pasados de bueno. Qué belleza. Acá, los montañeros de esta tierra, del corazón del café, sabemos lo que usted quiere. Patrón, venga a conocer. Tenemos el sabor, tenemos la tradición, tenemos nuestro folclore marcado en el corazón. Ya sabe, pues, montañeros. Bueno, 
Bueno, Chuchito, cuéntanos entonces un poco del proyecto. Contándoles un poco del proyecto, eh, lo que queremos hacer acá en Manizales, en la Comuna 5, en el Tour de la 5, es desarrollar un turismo con propósito. Yes. Donde involucramos tres pilares fundamentales. La parte social, la parte ambiental, en una reserva nativa que es la de Monteleón, y la parte cultural. Aquí hacemos una fusión de esos tres pilares, mostrándole al turista una experiencia entre los sabores, las texturas y todo lo que puede percibir en el mundo cafetero y en nuestra cultura cafetera. Y en el paisaje, papi. El paisaje. No quiere decir que me estén viendo a mí que yo soy del paisaje. No, es, es, es el paisaje. Voltea la, la mister, volteo. Volteo, volteo. Mister, volteo. So, what they were telling us is that in this place they are having a project, a tourism project that works with, uh, with the guys that lives around this area. So this used to be a very conflicted area, passing the days, but uh, David is helping out with all these little guys, all the guys here in this area to work on different things. You are a barista, right? A barista, bartender, and... Montañero Alegre. Montañero. Montañero Alegre. So we're going to have some coffee before we continue the road, but I just wanted to introduce to these two very typical characters of the coffee region. They're going to be walking us throughout this whole thing, and you're probably going to see them in the rest of the video. And we're going to leave this one right here, but stay tuned because on the next episode, we'll continue this adventure with Chichito and Eutanasia tasting some really good coffee, and we're going to have a cocktail in the middle of the forest inspire on the history of Manizales. So stay tuned for that one and I'll see you on the next one.